I would say the first one I could remember would be in Houston. So I was probably around, around five, I wanna say. That was where I started making all, you know, the memories and starting to remember the, you know, going in the clubhouse and waiting for him after the game in the tunnel. And it's just funny, you know, when you see, you know, families here with their kids waiting and you're thinking that was me, you know, 20 years ago. But growing up, I played with Kobe Clemens. And so we got to, you know, meet Roger and, uh, we play on the same team, so he throws BP and so would my dad. But you would have Roger throwing 92 mile an hour sinkers at you, and my dad's just still trying to get it in there. <laughs> I used to love the Astrodome only because they had a little kid section with games and stuff. Uh -huh. During summer break, we would go hang out with them a bunch, and then, you know, random occasions where we would be taken out of school to go see him. We played pretty much year round. Uh, so I was able to learn a lot at a young age. You know, most people growing up in the north, you know, you won't be able to play in the winter because of all the snow and stuff. But being from Texas, it's just cold. So you're, you're able to play. And, you know, I played, I want to say from four up until now. Never really thought about it, probably until, you know, my junior or senior year. But, you know, growing up I played, you know, at every level and, you know, I've always had obviously a great teacher at home that, you know, helped out. <laughs> you know, you meet with some teams and they, you know, talk about if they're going to pick you and all this stuff. Uh, but you never know. I mean, things change and, <clears throat> you know, luckily enough I was able to go in the first round. Uh, and, you know, from that moment on I was like, all right, you know, I did it. I made, you know, the first step to the to the big leagues and, you know, made baseball my job. <laughs>